All right, it's time to get airborne. If you have not mastered my bunny hop or pumping techniques from my previous videos, please do so now. And if you have, let's buckle up and hit the jumps. It's always great to find a tabletop to start your learning on. Here, I will use five bike and body movements that will help you learn how to approach a jump, when to use ready for the takeoff, what to do while you're in the air, and best ways to land a jump. Let's get started. I encourage riders to learn to roll the jumps before they try jumping them. Entering the jump in neutral riding position gives you best visual and balance. Then moving into ready and rolling up the lip of the jump moving back into neutral. Once I start on the back side of the jump, I begin to reabsorb back to the ready position and pushing back into neutral to help reset for the next obstacle. Movement is key to helping maintain traction and control during this maneuver. So now that you've had the chance to roll the jump a few times and are becoming more comfortable, it just might be time to start jumping in. Gauge your speed from when you rolled the jump and keep your body centered over the bike. Enter the jump in the neutral riding position. Before takeoff, move into the ready position. Power off the lip back into a soft neutral. Absorb the landing back into ready, pushing back to neutral to reconnect. Remember to drive these movements from your legs and feet versus your arms. Think of it like jumping with your feet. You don't jump from your arms. This will lower the center of gravity that you can control. Jumping can be a lot of fun and open up your riding portfolio a lot more. But remember to start small and roll the jumps first if you can. That was awesome. I hope you saw by applying those techniques which created traction and balance, it made jumping those gaps more easy and ultimately a lot more fun. Well, keep practicing. I hope I see you out on the trail one day and happy trails.